Welcome to another segment with David and myself, and today we're going to do something controversial. I'm a big fan of ascorbic acid. I'm not a big fan of the whole food vitamin C. I think that's a lot of, I have my reasons for that one too. But ascorbic acid has been around since 1938. Dr. Klenner, Dr. Katkart, uh, Dr. Roth, Dr. Uh, uh, Linus Pauling, and, and other doctors as well from using it, using the ascorbic acid intravenously for treating all kinds of cancers and, and remedies to treating H1N1. You know, uh, <clears throat> the guy in Australia, uh, no, sorry, not Australia, um, was it New Zealand? I think, yeah, New Zealand, who had H1N1, or Australia, somewhere down, land down under, I forget now, but well, I had a brain fart here, um, used a ascorbic acid, some say he used a liposomal, but he was still an ascorbic acid, to treat this H1N1. And when they started treating him, they were using a ascorbic acid intravenously at 50 grams a day for the first three days. And then afterwards, they dropped it down to five grams because he was starting to recover on 50 grams a day. Mm. <laughs> so we can't have that happen. No, no. <laughs> Vitamin C can cure H1N1, can cure cancer. Oh, no, we can't have that. You know, we're going to reduce your load and make it prolong this. Anyway, so some of you are on this kick about whole food stuff. And, so, and I had one guy send me this thing in his article to read about how they make synthetics and how they make, you know, the whole food stuff. And a lot of that was such nonsense I was reading. And again, this is my take on this. The health food industry is under the gun by the FDA and the government agencies throughout the planet to reduce the value of these vitamins because they know if there's any nutritional value in anything that's going to cure your body, it has to be taken off the shelf or compromised or or neutralized in order for it not to work. Vitamin C, vitamin E, and selenium are the three biggest vitamins that have been attacked for the last 50 years by everybody under the sun. And people have got this idea and these biases because some guru will tell you, well, that's a whole food. It's natural, you know. I keep saying, well, arsenic is natural. <laughs> and it's, mm -hmm. it's from a whole food source, you know. Are you going to eat arsenic? Go out there and chew on some, you know, fern loaded with arsenic. So my point is this, that all vitamins are also synthesized in the lab. It doesn't matter what form, what the source is. So, I mean, MSM, for instance, okay, there is no such thing as an organic MSM. It comes from pine bark, which comes from an organic source, but it's synthesized in the lab to pull the MSM out. Same with ascorbic acid, same with all the other vitamins. So to get something that's going to work is what I'm going to show you based on what I've known and what I've tried and what I've seen and with the people we've helped in the past. I'm not going to push anything whole food because I have not yet seen anything anywhere credible that says that this stuff has worked in curing anybody of anything. Okay, there has been nothing really of any significance, you know. Has it cured cancer? I can't find nothing. Has it cured H1N1? Zip, you know. So there's a lot of BS claims. Like I'm trying to reduce my swearing because I have a friend of mine says, Tony, it looks good, but then you start swearing, you're not so professional. Sometimes I get a little emotional because of this sort of, you know, the Mediterranean side comes out because of the bullshit in this industry and the bullshit that's going on. I like it, Tony, <laughs> for the record. A lot of people do. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> okay. So, again, I'm not here to blow sunshine up your arse. I'm here to show you what works. Okay, I'm not here to sell you any product. You can use whatever you want to use. If you feel that this natural whole food crap has got any value, someone was telling me they were looking at the uh, whole food vitamins and they were having someone had soy in it under another name. So again, be careful what you buy. I keep telling you this all the time. Not everything in this health food industry is pristine or, or uh, safe. A lot of it is just bullsh. Plain and simple bullsh. All right. Let's get some of the controversial stuff out right away. Natural versus synthetic ascorbic acid. Let's take a look at that, okay? Natural and synthetic L ascorbic acids are chemically identical and therefore there are no known differences in their biological activity. That's the key here, their biological activity. That's what I'm looking for. I want to know what's going to work, how it's going to work, if it's going to work, okay? Um, the possibility that the bioavailability of the L ascorbic acid from natural sources might differ from the synthetic ascorbic acid was investigating these two human studies and no clinical significant differences were observed. Zero! <laughs> Zero! Now, so for those of you who are hung up on this whole food 
<laughs> it's almost as orgasmically organic, and I'm not going to have an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> now, why am I doing this vitamin C segment? Because for those of you who have more gallons, who've been afflicted just like I've been, the one thing I've discovered in my research and my own, you know, pursuit of finding a solution with this is everybody who's got more gallons, the reason why you feel like shit, because that's where you feel, <clears throat> your body's in aches, you're aching, you're in aches and pains, you feel lethargic, you feel like your brain is just uh, not firing in all pistons, is because you've got scurvy. One of the things that more gallons does is it reduces the vitamin C levels in the body exponentially. I mean, a lot. Now, what I'm going to show you will take about 10 days to kick in. And once it kicks in, you're going to feel that red S on your chest, blue underwear, leap to tall buildings, bolts are going to bounce off, and they're going to call you super something. Okay? But that's what's going on with a lot of you with the more gallons because your vitamin C levels are down. Now, what does vitamin C do or ascorbic acid does? It can reverse the damage of telomerase. Your telomerase are your genetic, uh, I guess, cells. Then when they get shorter, you die. So what does more gallons do? What does genetically engineering of foods do? What does chemtrails do? It accelerates the aging process. When I load you up with estrogens and goitrogens and all kinds of stuff that attack organs specifically. What am I doing? I am accelerating your aging. What does genetically engineered foods attack? They attack the digestive system, the reproductive system. When I attack the reproductive system and I shut it down, you at that point start to accelerate and age and die. All this crap about giving young girls HPV vaccinations, that is designed to destroy them. Within two years, their genetic structure starts to come unglued. HPV you should tell these people that want to insert a needle in any of you to stick it up their backside sideways and give it a crank because nobody needs a vaccine. There is absolutely no proof anywhere that vaccines even work. How can you pump mercury into a body? How many of you even looked up mercury in, in the MSDS and seen how lethal it is? Or about, how about aluminum or formaldehyde? Ooh, how about cheap blood? I still like that one. Clean sheep blood. Okay, so again, you know, monkey genes, you know, aborted babies. Let's take an aborted baby, grind down the protein, put liquefied, and stick it inside of you. Yay! More genetic alterations. So let's get back to vitamin C. One of the things vitamin C does again is it can extend your life because it can reverse the damage of the telomeres that are breaking down. That's why ascorbic acid is attacked so strongly because it can keep you healthy, keep your cells healthy, it can actually prolong longevity, and it's very inexpensive and cheap. But now you get some doctor guru BSer, I got this whole full natural caca that I want to sell you because I need to make money and it doesn't really do anything more, it costs you more, it does less. <laughs> okay, that's what's going on. That's the one big uh, pet peeve I've got in the industry today is we've got doctor gurus, doctor dumbasses, because they got a white coat and a stethoscope, you guys will follow them. Oh, I hear an obey. I hear an obey. Oh, because they got a white coat and a stethoscope. These guys don't have a clue. Majority of them couldn't tie their shoe with Velcro. Okay, and you want to follow these guys when it comes to nutrition and health. If the doctor in the medical field was so bloody good, why are so many of you so sick and on, on, and on prescription drugs? Think about this for a minute. If they had the answers to pristine health, why are you being medicated daily? Why are they on TV trying to sell you vitamins that aren't really going to do a whole lot for you? And then when they, they don't work, they say, Doctor, I, did, I took the stuff, it doesn't work. Do you got a drug? Hmm. <laughs> they make money on both ends of the scale. Celebrity doctors are probably the worst ones you want to deal with. If you're going to deal with a celebrity doctor, you better have a pocket that deep. Because you're going to be reaching very deep. Okay, and not going to get very much out of it. All right. Uh, ascorbic acid deficiency. The following problems should be expected with increased incidence with severe depletion of ascorbate, ascorbates. Disorders of the immune system, such as secondary infections. Isn't that what more gallons gives you? Rheumatoid arthritis, lots of pain. 
collagen disease, you're coming undone, skin's falling apart. Um, allergic reactions to drug foods and other substances, chronic infections such as herpes. Ooh, vitamin C deficiency, herpes, hmm, who, who, did, who would have thought of that, eh? Um, uh, Gillian Barr's and Rye syndrome, rheumat rheumatic fever, scarlet fever, disorders of the blood, coagulation mechanisms such as hemorrhage, heart attacks, strokes. Ooh, we just talked about heart attacks and strokes in the last segment. Uh, whenever Dave does this thing, because you mm. might screw it up and then get your eyes all confused. He does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Intentionally. Intentionally. Well, yeah. of course, you got to keep you interested, right? Okay. What's your, what was that guy talking about? What, what video? <laughs> What past video? He was doing something else there. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, this vitamin C is almost tied to almost every part of our body. When you look at this, other inflammatory disorders, uh, suppression of the adrenal functions, such as phlebitis, other inflammatory disorders is asthma, uh, allergies, problems with disordered collagen formation, because you need vitamin C to form collagen. Um, you know, so if you're going to buy uh, glucosamine and chondroitin, you better take vitamin C and lysine with it for it to really work. Um, Varicose veins, hernia, stretch marks, wrinkles, uh, wear and tear on the cartilage, uh, uh, a degeneration of the spinal disc, impaired function of the nervous system. I mean, it's <laughs> cancer, uh, suppressed immune system, carcinogens, not de detoxified. I mean, this is, it just goes on and on. So why are they attacking vitamin C? Why are they trying to sell you this low dose crap? Because according to the government, the U.S. government, back in the 1930s, <laughs> this came from a, a government agency, they came right out and said you cannot expect to heal the body with 400 milligrams of vitamin C to treat a condition. You're going to need much higher doses. And this came out of, at that time, the government had a little bit more ethical value. So, um, the, um, I don't know if I got it here even. Even combining aspirin with vitamin C can increase cognition, intelligence. Because what's it doing? It's going in there and it's breaking up any plaque and allowing blood to flow, creating a, a, uh, the permeability of the blood vessels to work. It's amazing when you look at the studies on this stuff and how it's been used, and yet they want to take it away. They're coming to take it away, haha. -ha. See, that's, that's what they're trying to do. Okay, so. When we're looking at some of the stuff, again, accelerated aging, it stops that, okay? Um, again, supports the stem cells, let me see here. Again, back to anti-aging properties. So, when you're looking at vitamin C, it can set you free. Now, we're gonna show you how to take this, especially for those of you with more gallons or any other health issue, pay close attention to the dose. Um, I should have wrote it down. And I didn't. Take your body weight in pounds and divide it by 2.2. Okay, if you have to repeat this uh, uh, segment, do so. Take your body weight, divide it by 2.2. That gets you your kilogram weight. So let's say you're a 150 pound male or female. Because some of you women do weigh about 150 pounds, you know, so there's no hiding that one. All right, so take the, your body weight, divide it by 2.2, and that'll give you approximately 68 to 70 kilos. Let's just say 70 kilos for argument's sake. So you take that 70 kilo, and then you multiply that by 350 milligrams, and your daily recommended dose to treat your body will be close to 23 grams a day. Okay, now, some of you are going to say, well, Tom, I'm going to be on the toilet all day. I'm going to be having meditative thoughts, thinking deep, 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 deep thoughts. That's part of the charm of vitamin C. Okay, it may be not seem so charming, but the thing is, in the animal kingdom, they produce 10 grams a day normally, and then they go up to 100,000 uh, milligrams, or 100 grams, when they're dealing with something. The reason being is, their body is now getting the vitamin C it needs to, to fight off whatever infections are going on, and then when they, and what's the one way that the body gets rid of these things? It flushes them out through the back, through the back door. And that's essentially what's going on with us. I've gone as high as 40, uh, 40 grams a day using this formulation. And initially there was that loosening of the bowels and there was that emancipation. But I gotta tell you, it worked, it worked very closely to what the STS did as far as removing some of the metals and toxins that I had in my system. Stuff that I didn't know I had again. 
So again, you're going to find that when you do the dosing, yes, you are going to have the loose stools. Let it fly. That's how a lot of that more gallons crap is going to come out of your body. That's how a lot of the metal poisonings a lot of you have is going to come out of your body. That's how a lot of viruses and, and bacteria and fungal infections are going to come out of your body. It's going to flush out. That's to be expected. That's what you want. Okay. That whole bowel tolerance thing, again, is because you're afraid you're going to have an accident, and I understand that. You know, uh, again, <clears throat> get over it. That's part of the healing. That's part of the charm. It's part of the thing getting out of your system. So, I'm going to get a glass. Now, I do this for myself. You play with the measurements. Use a teaspoon. One teaspoon is five grams. One tablespoon is 15 grams. And I'm talking about regular tablespoons, not these gigantic things. You know, you buy some of these celebrity things and you use a shovel. <laughs> regular spoons. <laughs> All right, you're going to need baking soda. Now, baking soda, I'm going to use my little scooper here. That's probably about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon. Boom, it's in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I do for me, which I found work. I'm going to add potassium bicarbonate. But I, I put about a half a teaspoon. Or a quarter of a teaspoon, sorry. Or a quarter of a teaspoon. Then I add magnesium citrate. Da -da -da -da. Same thing, quarter of a teaspoon. I add a little boron, or 20 mutine borax. <laughs> You're taking soap inside your body? No, I'm taking salt inside my body. I guess what's so sodium. So you only need a little dab of that. Oop, that's it. Okay. Now I may even add a little aspirin. Because I want my brain to work here, you know. Because I want to uh, want to increase my cognitive ability because I'm kind of a dumb guy sometimes. So anyway, you don't need much. Oh come on. Aha, too much. <coughs> oh boy, it's so strong. That's it. Probably about 200 milligrams. <laughs> Maybe that's a little more, but anyway, close, to, close enough. <laughs> so I'm just, again, we do this this way to show you that it doesn't have to be, you know, right down to the minor minutia. It ain't going to kill you. I'm, I'm still here. What, what did I get done drinking this thing? You say, he drank all that stuff and he's still alive. Yes. All right. Maybe now, it takes a few minutes to kick in, Tony. That's the thing. Well, yeah, it's even so. well then you can kill me if I lay down. Hey, he <laughs> killed himself. Dumb bastard. Died. <laughs> we still got a couple more videos to go, so uh, in the next one you might fall over. <laughs> All right. Now. Jeez. I go. All right. Now, I'm putting the EDTA in there. Now, a lot of you think that EDTA is a chelator, which it is, but it's also a delivery mechanism. Now, why am I using EDTA? Because I want to get this stuff into my tissues. For those of you who have more gallons, the stuff is stuck in your cells and it's stuck in your tissues. Now, what are we doing here? We're putting baking soda, which is salt. We've added potassium to it. We've added magnesium to it, magnesium citrate. So what are we doing here? We're putting something together that's going to go through the cells and flush the cells as well as get into the tissues and flush the tissues. Now we're just going to have a delivery agent with some EDTA, probably about a teaspoon. Okay. Then I'm going to add my, oh crap. Oh no, there it is. Then I'm going to add my vitamin C, my ascorbic acid, my synthesized formula. <laughs> And now I'm going to add about 10 grams for me. Now, my body weight, I'm about 180 pounds. So basically I need about 75 to 77, kilo, uh, 77 kilos at uh, 350 milligrams, which is approximately close to 25 grams is what I need a day. Now, I, oh, place is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as soon as I said 25, 25 grams, they Okay. Okay, I've taken as much as 40, and I found it was it was no issue. Now, I add iodine to it. Some are saying that you cannot, uh, vitamin C blocks the inhibition of iodine absorption. That's not true. Iodine, vitamin C actually helps iodine uptake. Now, I'm going to show you how we do it here, putting it in there. Watch this. It'll disappear. Boop. It disappeared. Ooh. See, look. 
Huh? That's called clarifying. Uh, that's how you clarify your um, your iodine. So you want to put it on the skin. You put mix it with some vitamin C and slap it on there. And that's what happens. You don't get the the brown or the uh, tan. Cool. Now I'm adding some selenium to it. Okay. I've covered it all. Okay. I've got my zinc. I've got my selenium. There's my reproductive system being protected. Ooh. My brain is getting what it needs. It's getting the heart's getting what it needs. Selenium is going into the thyroid. Oh, we're going to regulate the iodine. The magnesium, the potassium, the boron, what are they going to do? They're going to help with my skeletal structure. They're going to help with the tissues. They're going to help with the cells. They're going to help flush out some of these toxic metals that I've been exposed to from the chemtrails. I'm adding vitamin C to it with the baking soda. So what am I doing? I'm turning these into ascorbates. Now, if you want to make these so that it increases collagen, do I have any there? Take some lysine and put it in there with it. For those of you who have heart issues, if you really want to make this into a heart formula, add some taurine to it. The sky's the limit. Okay? Expand your horizons on this. Don't just, this is not the only end all be all way of doing this. There's more than one way of doing this. Then get it. <laughs> all right. Now, we did this with the powders and stuff because I put my own formula together. But some of you are saying, Man, that seems complicated. God, I can't do all that. I gotta buy all that crap. Okay, go to the health food store. This is one company that I do like. The only thing I don't like about this product is it's in a vegan capsule. Other than that, it's an essential electrolyte mix. It's a good mixture of, um, of a vitamin C. It's got a little bit in there, so I wouldn't worry about that. It's got calcium, magnesium, zinc, chromium, chloride, sodium, and potassium. It's a very good form. It doesn't have any vanadium in it. I don't like vanadium in my minerals. It doesn't got a lot of trace stuff in there that I don't know what the hell it is. This is pretty good, pretty cheap, pretty easy. What you can do then is open up one or two capsules and mix it together. I probably would open up two. Now, when you're taking high doses of ascorbic acid, you have to take minerals with it. Somebody, I was in the show, and somebody called up and she was starting to, to rant and rave about vitamin C being dangerous. I said, really? So I'm taking 40 grams a day and I'm still here. I'm not having any of the issues that you're mentioning. You know, blood vessels are going to burst and blah, 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 blah. Really? And you're going to look older. Really? <laughs> I've actually gotten stronger and younger looking with this. You know, if I wasn't dealing with something, it'd be a lot, even, a lot more up. All right. So don't listen to the myths and the bullshit on vitamin C, okay? Because it really is one of the best things out there. It's another thing next to aspirin that got, out, got away from them. Oops. Aspirin kills eight types of cancers. Aspirin and vitamin C can help uh, with cognition for the brain. Oops. Hmm. we got to do something about that. Okay, let's coat the aspirin with all kinds of red, yellow, and polymer mixes and then tell them to take 81 milligrams a day so we can kill them off. Let's shoot down vitamin C and come up with a natural form of it which will do nothing. Hmm. <laughs> that's, what go that's what's going on. All right. So now we mix this all together. And what you do initially is pour a little bit in because this thing's going to go and then bubble all over the place. And if you put too much in, it'll go all over the floor. So just start off with a little bit. See? Bubble, bubble, toilet in trouble. Now what that's doing, it's converting everything. And as you can see, the vitamin C will dissolve all that for you because minerals should be taken either with, in a, with acids or with protein. Look at that, eh? Dun, 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 dun. See? Look at this. Uh -huh. This is like a 7-Up without the sugar. <laughs> but a good 7-Up. Now, you gotta stir it in there. Now, the favorite, the favorite question that I always get, is it safe? <laughs> Salute. I should make one for you. And you'll be standing right up. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Camera's going to fall over. Okay. It doesn't taste that bad, really. There are some things I've made on the show that really do taste horribly, but this is not bad. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's awesome. You will feel that uh, flow through you within moments. You know, um, you might find yourself more alert very quickly. You might find blood flow going to the head. You might find increased circulation going down to the lower extremities. You may even feel your muscles um, will pump up. It's called a pump. 
usually when your weightlifters or bodybuilders are, are lifting weights, what happens is the, the extra extra blood flow going into the muscle tissue causes a pump a pump uh, kind of feeling where the muscles look fuller. So you may feel that as well, and you might find that your teeth will get stronger as a result. Now we're going to do a video up the way. We're going to use baking soda and trisodium phosphate. You're going to make a mouth rinse out of that. And that actually can reverse cavities. But when you take it in conjunction with your ascorbic acid, it really makes a big difference. Now, these minerals have been absorbed. They're right into me. Now, when you're taking aspirin, I've said this before, take it with minerals like potassium or magnesium to act as a buffering agent or baking soda. You, have no, you will have no stomach upset with it whatsoever unless you take too much. So again, excuse me, that's a simple little recipe. Very simple. Those of you with more gallons, scurvy. A lot of people have it, but you will have it more so. You are dealing with chemtrail fallout that has bound inside you through the genetics of the food you've eaten and they get activated with smart smart meters and other uh, frequency devices. And I was looking at the news yet this week or article where the Air Force is now going to shut down the HARP installation in Alaska. It's a little bit of old, old news because now they have put HARP in the radar system so now they can fire it anywhere on the planet. Yay! It's caused massive global destruction. We won't even have to just fire it on the earth and the earth goes and starts to fall apart. Hmm. It's called fracking the earth. Well, I can't say that. Uh, what I wanted to say, but that's close enough. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure people can... Uh... <laughs> Read between the lines. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there you have it. Now again, keep in mind, Okay, that was about 10 grams for me, and I, the way I do it for myself, I'll do 10 gram increments. 10 grams, 10 grams, 10 grams, sometimes I go up to 40. I was trying to push it beyond 40, but my system couldn't do it. As a uh, matter of fact, my body went the other way and reduced it down to 20. So again, you can do it for a short period of time, and what will happen is once you get it in your system and you get it going, over a short period of time, maybe three or four weeks, you'll start to reduce it on your own. And you'll find, especially those of you who have been afflicted with the more gallons, you're going to see a big difference in your strength. You're going to see a big difference in your uh, awareness. You're going to see a big difference in your alertness. Uh, you're going to see a dramatic reduction in pain. And you're going to see some of the damage that this stuff has done to you start to repair. Because the two things that the Morgallons does hit is the myelin sheet of the cells and <clears throat> the tissues. The other thing you want for the myelin sheet of the cells is wheat germ oil. Okay, wheat germ oil. Add some BHT and CQ10 to wheat germ oil. And you might find all of a sudden things start healing up a lot faster and a lot better. You still have to flush this stuff out of your system and this is one way of doing it. Because when, when these things go into the cells, they push stuff out, out the door they go. You either pee it out, poo it out, sweat it out, breathe it out. Okay? So there you have it. Simple little... Scorbic acid formula that can really boost the system, boost the body, help the body become more resistant, and promote anti-aging. Okay. So for those of you who want the whole food vitamin C, knock yourself out. This isn't for you. But the rest of you who want something that's going to be effective and see some real results, there you have it. All right. To the next section, to your health.